Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Burnout Paradise Remastered on the Steam Deck. So this game requires the EA launcher and it's going to launch it automatically, but it's been crashing quite a bit. I couldn't get into the game for an entire week and some people told me, okay, disable the Steam overlay. I did it. That seems to have done the trick. But you also should disable the EA Launcher's overlay. To do that, you need to go into desktop mode, launch the game. Once the EA Launcher shows up, go into its settings and disable the overlay. So once you do that, the game should never crash again, hopefully. But apparently they fixed it because I didn't have any major issues replaying this game. Otherwise, I would consider it verified. But let's get into the game, and uh, we'll talk more about that in a minute. So, there we go. It shows up. Welcome to Burnout Paradise. I had to disable the music for copyright reasons. Settings, 800p, so native resolution. Quality, basically everything on high. There is also an option for MSAA, but I didn't see this being very good for hiding aliasing. So, FXAA for more battery. 4 times MSAA if you don't care much about battery, so we're going to keep it there. But still, the game has lots of aliasing everywhere, unfortunately. And then SSAO, standard or disabled, motion blur. In a racing game, I really like how motion blur looks, in this case in particular, so we keep it like that. So, yeah. We save the changes, and we're going, in the meantime, to show the FPS counter, so you guys can see what's going on. And this game is hard lock at 60, so you cannot go over 60 on this one because it affects how the cards handle. Here's apparently. a cast iron atomic tip for anyone who's stuck on the new I 88 because you took a wrong turn. We've all been there, people, but the crash nav shows you the exit. Oh, yeah, this game is amazing. One of the best arcade racing games, in my opinion. The destruction is amazing. The sense of speed is just a game that wants you to have fun, basically. Also, it's 16 by 9 on the menus, but 16 by 10 on the game itself. But again, the destruction, I just miss when racing games allowed you to completely wreck your car. Now, because car manufacturers don't want to see their cars destroyed, they don't allow cars to be super destroyed. But look at this. Oh, so nice. This game really does know how to do destruction physics. That, that's awesome. And again, the sense of speed, and it's so easy to control and get a hold of. You just need to pay attention to know, not do what I'm doing here. <laughs> but again, I think this is one of those games that you shouldn't skip. It's an amazing game. Back when Criterion Games had more destructible freedom, to say it in some way. Let's do a race. So to do a race you need to be here. Race east to the waterfront. I wish this game had better a better lower GPU usage though. Battery life is not amazing, this one. Considering it's an old game, I thought it was going to be Long battery. I'm going to show you that in a moment. But yeah. The e brake. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. I'm just helping the AI, by the way. I'm talking about badass. Let's take one of them down. <laughs> take down! And I miss that so much. I wish we had a new one of these games. Oof. But again, as I was saying, battery life could be better, in my opinion. But even lower in the settings or trying the original version. The original version of the game is no longer sold on Steam, but I have it. I tried it. It's DX9. And battery life is very similar, so... Yeah, it's pretty disappointing in that regard. But hey, Burnout Paradise on the go. 
it's also out on Nintendo Switch and it runs at 60 on the Switch. So great job developers. Let's see if I can win this race. Ooh, it was so dark, I couldn't see anything. Dang it! I was going so well. Anyway, let's pause the game. I'll show you this on handheld because it looks way better than this. Now in handheld and hopefully I do not crash into something. Oh, Jesus. I'm going fast. Gotta go fast. Did I miss? Yes, I missed. But again, one of my favorite games when it comes to racing. Oh, took it too early. Okay, got stuck. Awesome. I'm the last. <laughs> That's what happens when you're trying to speak. Anyway, I'll beat it eventually. The winning DJ Atomica with a home truth for you there. And as you can see, according to this, we got two hours of battery. Again, not bad for the Steam Deck, but for a game of this age, I wish it was at least three hours. Oof. <laughs> okay, we can drive away. Yeah. We also have bikes and, well, you can change the paint as well if you want to. And you start unlocking more and more cars that have different ways of doing boosting. In this case, if you do stunts, this car will get more, uh, more boost, basically. Okay, I need to pay full attention to this. I'll take everybody down, as always. Out of the road! <laughs> He's not getting up from that one. But man, you go so fast after you get some of the faster cars. Also, the other benefit of this remaster includes all the DLC, the Big Surf Island stuff. And you get lots of cars, but I recommend you stick to the the cars that the game gives you when you start it makes the game way more fun if you're using one of the some of the DLC cars the game just becomes way too easy do yourself a favor okay full focus again it becomes way too easy if you use those DLC cars so yeah, just use what the game gives you, it will be way more fun, and you get more out of it. So yeah, one of my favorite games, runs at 6 FPS, no matter what you do, basically. And it's been a while since I played a racing game that just wants you to have some fun. And when you crash, <laughs> you crash. So please do yourself a favor and play this game. If you don't want to buy it, you can use EA Play, a subscription service. Very cheap on Steam. And you can try the game out for a very small price. So yeah, give it a chance if you like arcade racing and destruction. It won't disappoint, let me show you. Oof, wrecked. <laughs> anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did revisiting Burnout Paradise, killer soundtrack as well, but I cannot use it here because copyright purposes, copyright reasons. Basically. Bye guys, thanks for watching.